Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I would like to do today is to introduce y'all or rather to show y'all or talk to y'all about how to write a box truck company business plan, specifically the competitive advantages, what they are, why they're important, and some examples of competitive advantages for a box truck business. So the way the video is gonna work out is first and foremost, gonna give y'all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. From that point in time, we're gonna talk about competitive advantages, how to identify them, why to use them, where to use them, and when to use them. From that point in time, we'll then wrap it up, sum it up, and call it a day. All right, as promised, a little bit about me. Again, Paul Borowski, MBA and owner of Quality Business Plan. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if y'all do need some help with writing up your box truck business plan, uh, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, be, the love, be delighted to write it for you. Also, I am an author. <clears throat> um, I, I author published, uh, I've published several books on Amazon.com. Um, check them out. They're related to business plan writing as well as the understanding financial statements. And then finally, I'm an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in both business and finance. So if your business plan is written for your box truck company, but those darn pro forma financial projections, uh, they're just giving you all kinds of a nightmare. Um, please give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I'll be delighted to, again, write up those um, financial projections for you. <clears throat> all right. Enough about me. Let's talk about competitive advantages for your box truck company. So what is a competitive advantage? A competitive advantage is, is not what you do better than everybody else. It's what you do better than most people. Now, you might, of course, do it better than everybody else, but still has better than most people. So to keep it simple, um, competitive advantages, when you're writing that section for your business plan, keep it in the frame, answering the question, what do you do better than most people? And when you keep it focused like that, then you're going to be able to start asking yourself your question and generating some examples of how you do specific aspects of your box trucking business different than other people or better. And then from that point, you can go ahead and you'll know, compile a list of competitive advantages. All right, so tips and tricks for competitive advantages for the box truck company. So first is to keep it simple. When you are writing your um, competitive advantages, you don't want to go into three to four to five to seven to 10 paragraphs. And you also don't want to talk about 15 or 20 competitive advantages. Keep it simple, keep it short, keep it sweet, keep it to the point. When you're doing your competitive advantages, identify your top two or three and describe them in one to two sentences. If you start giving more details about your competitive advantages, then what you're doing is you're telling the potential competitors of what you're doing better and you tell them how you're doing it. You're pretty much giving your playbook away. I mean, you know, you don't see the Buffalo Bills you know, publishing their plays for the, you know, the next day, you know, for, for the game. It's not going to happen and you shouldn't either. So when you're doing your competitive advantages, keep it short, keep it sweet, to keep it to the point and limit it to two or three. And if you have a competitive advantage, it's just a really phenomenal competitive advantage. Don't release it. Skip it go to some other ones that are not as important. You don't, you, when you're doing your competitive advantages, you don't want to give away the farm. Um, you know, if it's just one thing that you just, wow, this is making you the most money, keep it under your hat. Don't, don't let that out in the wild. All right, so what are some examples of some competitive advantages for some box truck companies? Well, one competitive advantage is you might be able to do local routes as well as regional routes. Heck, I've done some business plans for box truck companies. They're doing um, over the road trucking using the box truck. You know, a lot of benefits to a box truck and you know, you can, you know, you can specialize in local, regional or over the road. Next is your competitive advantage is that you might do touch or no touch. You know, you might load up the freight or you might and unload the freight or you might let the other, um, you know, your shippers and receivers do that for you. So, you know, if, if you do offer both touch or no touch, you make sure to discuss that. Another competitive advantage could be that you use multiple load boards. You know, so you might have a, you know, you know that you might use a multiple load boards, as simple as that. You know, you go through the multiple load boards looking for the best, um, you know, the best jobs are going to pay the most money. And you can also optimize your routes accordingly, you know, by piecing them together, you know, the different jobs that are posted, you know, on the different um, platforms. 
Next is a competitive advantage. It could be a dedicated route. You might have something locked in with Amazon or FedEx or, or somebody like that. And if you've got dedicated routes, you definitely want to list that into your business plan as a competitive advantage because, you know, that's steady income and you, you know where your money's coming from tomorrow and the next day as compared to most truckers where, you know, after they get this load, you know, they got to find another one now. So dedicated routes is great and, and one way to go up. Another competitive advantage or final two competitive advantages could be a minority owned, woman owned, and also VA or military experience. Any of those are going to allow you to possibly qualify for loans or grants that are not available to the general public. So if, if you've got some kind of a status that's, um, you know, that's going to give you that, you know, that, um, foot, that head up or that, you know, that one step up, definitely list it as a competitive advantage. All right, so hopefully that little um, spiel was helpful. So in summary, when you're doing your competitive advantages for your box truck company, don't show all your cards. Um, if you got a great competitive advantage, keep it under your hat, skip it, go to the next one. Um, use a chart. I like to use smart art charts when I do my business plans, um, my box truck business plans. Also, I'll use box, um, sometimes I'll use the box truck, um, the, the charts for competitive advantages for my box truck business plan templates. Um, you know, I, I might have it in there or might not, um, but it just really depends. But again, those charts are great because it's gonna force you to limit your competitive advantages to two or three, and it's gonna limit the space, so you have to keep it to one to two sentences. So it's a great structure to use. And then finally, if you need some help with your box truck company, um, you know, business plan, again, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, be del delighted to assist. All right, so in summary, I do offer big um, box truck company business plan templates. So if you, you are interested in buying one of those, the link's right here. I do also uh, provide you all with a website that gives you more insights on writing your own box truck business plan. And the website would be right here. And then if you do buy the box truck template, I've got business plan tutorials to help you complete that template. Check it out on this website or this link right here. And then finally, custom business plans. If you need some help writing a custom business plan, uh, pick up the phone, give me a call, and I do have some prices on this link right here. All right, hopefully this information is helpful. As always, go out there, make a little bit of money, stay safe, and um, yeah, have a great day. Thank you.